It well. was in 2009 that this building was built. But there had been a senior center on this property before that was the Old Salt Seafood Company. And the county purchased it and renovated it. I think that was in like 1988. Um, I'd been on the advisory board of Upper Shore Aging and um, we would have meetings at the old center, which was here, but it was small and dark. You're right, the old building was kind of dismal and dark. Uh -huh. And we were here when the old building was raised and the ground was broken for the new building. And uh, we were part of the, uh, the furnishings committee. Right. Right. Uh, so good, yeah. Headed by Hope Harrington, uh, who, who led us very successfully to the $350,000 we needed to furnish this place, including the chairs we're sitting here right now. It was fun to see the building come about. It was fun when we put on our hard hats and shovels, even though I couldn't find that, that article. And working with raising the money. I'll tell you, Jesse Caldwell and Irene Hunter, who were in charge of they were my clients. They weren't my oldest clients because we'd had 88 year old clients oh. before, so they were young. But they were like Batman and Robin, or you know, you often say, you know, about older people, oh, they were such lovely women, and they were lovely women. But man, they weren't going to let it drop that they wanted certain things in this building. And so they helped us as an architect because when we wanted to do a, a green roof, you know, the county's like, Mm, not sure. You know, a lot of people feel that way. And yeah, it was kind of a special uh, deal for me being the superintendent on the job that, you know, the green roof is the first green roof I ever did. It's actually the only green roof I ever did. <laughs> when you're yeah. working on a church or a senior center or something like that, you know, that's going to kind of be a pillar in the community um, for a long time. It has a lot of eyes from the community. Um, watching progress and, and those type of things and yes our company has been blessed that we're busy um, and we, we've been around for a long time um, over 45 years uh, and we have done several senior centers um, at least in the tenure that I've been here we did the Kent County Senior Center with Gary we did this senior center with Gary we did the Mac Center down in Salisbury which serves uh, a huge population down there and and as someone mentioned a little earlier we just finished up the uh, YMCA in St. Michael's which has a senior center component of it. Uh, it, it it certainly brings in folks who are who are more isolated and that's that's kind of one of the goals of senior centers is yeah. to I, when you think about the um, kind of the theme of the center uh, to grow, to connect, to thrive, uh, to be well, you know, those are kind of the ideals that we're reaching for with the, with the center. As the population for older people, it's, it's constantly growing yeah. and uh, they do need help because oftentimes many of them are by themselves you know, and, and if they are with other people, they aren't familiar with the services that are available. Yeah. So it makes life easier for them. It's expanding and trying to get people, um, you know, in, in Talbot County to get out and do things with yeah. people. We wanted, to be, we wanted to be for the community, for people in Talbot County uh, that are 60 years of age or older that want to come out and just socialize, have a good time, you know, get out of the house. It doesn't, we, we don't care what your income is or yeah. what your education is. Yeah. Just come out and, and, and enjoy some of the programs, enjoy being around other people. Yeah. Yeah. It's really grown. I don't think we realized when we had the building plan that it would be so popular. Seeing people being happy and being content and accepting age. Because I'm old myself, yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's good to be able to feel that you can still help people even though you're older.